Live tweeting can almost feel like playing FIFA 16, with a ball representing your tweet, and other Twitter users acting as your teammates and interacting with that tweet and then retweeting it. This in turn keeps the content at the top of the board or timeline so other teammates can interact with it. You can only retweet a post once, but you can quote a tweet as many times as you like. This means you can take someone else's tweet that has all the network tags, hashtags and reasons for saving the show, quote that information while adding your own message at the same time. That passing is top class. Renew season four now. Renew season four now. Renew season four now. If that's all it took to get networks to take on Motherland Fort Salem, why stop at season four? Let's push for 20 seasons, yeah! This footage is from the 6th of December 2021. On this day we were tagging at Hulu and Netflix. The maximum amount of characters in a single tweet used to be 140. In 2017 they doubled it to 280. This is good news. you still got to remember. When you are live tweeting, you've got to pour your passion into that message. Then leave room for the network you are tagging, as well as Motherland Fort Salem and Save Motherland Fort Salem hashtags. So having some messages saved in a Word document can save you a ton of time when it comes to actually live tweeting. It ensures you've got the correct amount of characters and you can tweet as fast as possible. It's up to the rest of the fandom or teammates to pick up the tweet and retweet or quote it, so that others can do the same. Do other fans have their own preset tweets? I'm unsure but are hoping that others might adopt this when they come to do events. 